Hello, sweet friends. This is Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing a St. Patrick's Day wreath with you. Also, I am doing some painting. I have um, many requests for painting, so I'm going to show you how I doodled up this truck. Now, this truck is from Hobby Lobby, and it is cute the way that it is, but I had to do my thing and doodle it up and make it even cuter, and I am so happy with the way that it turned out. Now, I'm going to just go through and show you what I do to doodle up and paint my uh, little projects. Um, you know, if you want want to recreate this you can do as much or as least amount the least amount um, that you would like so what I start with is a number 10 flat paintbrush some uh, white paint some clean water a paper towel and something to put my paint on and so I just dip half of my brush in paint the other half in clean water and then I blend it on a paper towel and then I just go around everything and just shade it up um, the way that I like it now I like a lot of shading but um, you know if you don't like it get a baby wipe and you know, get some of it off and start over. Here I'm just going around the outline just with my number two liner and just giving it some white highlights. I like to do like little uh, jagged edges because I've just, over the years, I've just been painting like this because um, it doesn't take as long and also, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect and You know, I'm so glad that God is giving me um, this platform to be able to share painting projects with you here I've gotten so many requests to share more painting projects So that's why I am just doing this so you can take um, something that you purchase in the store and just make it your own put your own spin on it by adding a little paint and a black sharpie marker so then now what I'm doing I'm just taking the end of my paintbrush and just dipping it in white paint and just making some little white dots I used my silver metallic paint and I just painted over that green part of the hub cap of the truck and I like that a little bit better. So then now I'm using my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just going around the entire truck, just adding some uh, black Sharpie marker. I think that it just brings out um, whatever your painting project is. I like that look. Um, and that's why I use the black Sharpie marker. Um, I like to use the Sharpie brand because it usually does not bleed if I, you know, put, put a sealer on it. And um, this particular one I didn't seal, but all my other painting projects I do seal. And then um, since these letters are a little thinner, I use my um, ultra fine Sharpie marker. And then just go around the letters. I am not being too perfect, just trying to hit the highlights. And uh, then this cute little truck is ready to be put on my wreath. This is a 14 inch wire frame. And then this particular mesh is a paper mesh that um, the store that I do work for part-time that I design wreaths for. Uh, they do have a vendor that they buy this from, but I have seen this paper mesh at Craft Outlet. And so uh, craftoutlet.com is a place that you can get paper mesh like this. Anyway, so it's a 21 inch mesh. And so I cut it off at 10 inches and then I cut it in half um, just cut the roll in half and then now I have some Chanel stems that I just put uh, on this on the ring and then I have this I'm just I kind of just kind of curl it over on itself where the ends are not um, showing and then 
I'm going to put one on the inner ring and then one in the middle and then one on the inner ring. This is the outer ring and then I'll do another one on the inner ring. And I put like three set, you know, one section of the ring will have three of these and I kind of offset them just a little bit. So I don't usually count all of my stuff. And uh, so I get some questions sometimes how many you know, burlaps did you use? And I apologize, but I don't usually, you know, count my burlaps. I just put my product on there until I like the look and I like the fullness. I attached my truck to the wreath first before I put the ribbon on. And this is usually, it depends on what uh, wreath attachment I'm going to be using. But I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use this rope that the truck already had on there. So what I did is I ended up cutting that rope and then I tied it to the ring of the wreath. And then I, uh, later on, you'll see that I took my, uh, staple gun and I stapled the mess to the back of the truck and always try to, uh, you know, depending on what size staples, if you are going to use a staple gun, uh, but I just have mine because I have it from when we were doing woodcrafts. And so it is a lifesaver if you want to do projects like this and staple the mesh to the back of your, we uh, your wreath um, embellishment. Just a tip, just make sure that your staples do not go through the front of your embellishment, whatever wreath attachment that you are, just like mine did on the little shamrock. But that's okay, I'm going to add a little bow and we're going to cover that up so we're good. Now I'm going to add this five and a half inch uh, burlap in Kelly Green and uh, I'm going to attach this to the wreath. I'm using some of the Chanel stems that are already there with the paper mesh and I'm just going to just tuck this in uh, in different places. Now this was uh, this roll is not going to be enough so then I'm going to pull out a second roll and just um, you know continue just tucking it in using the Chanel stems that are already there. I'm using um, these two inch ribbons. Uh, I cut them at 11 inches and this particular one came from Hobby Lobby and I dovetailed the ends. This one came from Hobby Lobby as well, cut it at 11 inches and dovetail those. And then this window pane actually came from the vendor that um, also that we get the mesh from. But you, I have seen window pane mesh uh, at Craft Outlet. I've even seen it at Walmart, at uh, Hobby Lobby. So you just have to look around to uh, see where you can find this window pane mesh. Um, and I cut all of that at 11 inches. So these are the three ribbons that I'm going to be stacking together and putting into my wreath. Okay, for my ribbons, um, I am also using this uh, grow grain ribbon is from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just crisscross that just to make a simple bow. I use my tiny attacher, just put a staple in the middle. It holds it together. And um, I dovetail the ends and then take my lighter and singe them because it this is grow grain and it will fray over time. So then I have my three ribbons. I just stack them all the same way. I bend them uh, to get 
uh, the middle and then I scrunch them in the middle and then take that and put that on that and that is how my ribbon is going to go into my wreath and so then now I'm just going to show you how I just add the ribbon I add it into every single one of the uh, Chanel stems so this wreath has lots of ribbon in it I had just a few ribbons left um, from a couple of the rolls of the ribbon. So I just put them all together and made a little messy bow here. That is what I'm gonna glue to the bed of the truck to help mask or hide um, the part where my staples kind of went through the shamrock. So the beauty in crafting is not that we're going to make mistakes because we are, it's just how well you you cover them up and that is all part of crafting okay guys leave me a comment I would let you I would love to know what you think about my little happy St. Patrick's Day little wreath here I appreciate you all so much your positive comments they just make my day I read every single comment I try to heart it respond to any questions that you may have if uh, you recreate or you have some St. Patrick's Day um, crafts, please share them with me over in the Country Charm Crafty community over on Facebook. It's my free Facebook community that um, you can share your crafts with me. All right, guys, we'll talk to you very soon. All right, God bless.